our day one, Toledo Bend. Tournament footage is coming to you for this tournament as best as I can try. Uh, the wind's gonna be a little bit rough today, so that's kinda gonna be a little bit of a hassle for fishing and filming, of course, but I'm gonna try and get all these fish catches on here today. Uh, I'm running my GoPro in the back, and then I also have, I'm gonna try something new this year. We'll see if it works, we'll see if it doesn't. Um, if it doesn't show up in the first couple videos this year, um, it's just because I'm having some difficulty with it, but we're trying to get my basically my full day of tournament fishing on live scope matched up with my GoPro footage. So while I'm fishing, you guys can also watch my live scope at the same time. Uh, gonna try it out, see if it works, gonna try and record it all day. Uh, like I said, if it doesn't, you know, we're gonna keep trying and see if we can make it work. Uh, so that's gonna be cool. As far as the fishing goes, I mean, it's been a challenge. Uh, we started off practice, it was, I don't know, 20 some degrees every morning. First two mornings, uh, you know, maybe got up to, you know, 50 degrees during the day. So that dropped the water temps considerably. They started out at like 53, 54, they dropped to like 52, 51. And then the last day of practice, we had a warm day and they jumped up to 55, 56. Our off day, we had another warm day. So I expect the water temps, water temps to be even higher. Um, we'll see what happens. Didn't have a great practice. Maybe found a couple areas. Looking forward to getting after it. Hopefully you guys will see some big Toledo Bend bass getting put in the nitro. I need you guys to count this down with me. Five, four, three, two, one. We're going to look at the rookie of the year.
That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Yeah, it's hard to eat. Yeah, definitely gonna help it out. <laughs> oh yeah, four and a quarter. Old blindy. All right. Go 18 or 19, huh? Yeah. Almost like as you about 18, 18 and a quarter, so I guess. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, one more like this. It has been 
been 180 days since the Elite Series left your life, and we are back and stronger than ever. Are you ready? <laughs> pounds two ounces and puts them in second place so the polka music working for him four pounds eight ounces short of the overall lead but with 19 two wisconsin's jay secure kicks off his 2024 bassmaster elite series campaign and pretty good way to start things yeah i'm very happy with it i'm having a blast down here in texas catching these big fish hopefully tomorrow i can catch a 10 pounder I had everybody back home in Wisconsin. I know it's still cold there. A lot of you want to be out fishing. Hopefully tomorrow I can get it done. Go get them. We'll see you back here tomorrow. All right. Day one is finished. We caught 19 pounds of bass today, which I'm really happy about. Uh, the GoPro worked all day, so that was a plus. I think we got the live scope footage, so that was a plus and we caught almost 20 pounds of bass. So it was a really good opening day of the season. I uh, couldn't ask for really a better day other than obviously catching a giant bag. But I mean, you can't ask for those every day. It's just not gonna happen like that. Um, so yeah, I'm very happy with how today went. Hopefully tomorrow goes better. Um, you know, honestly, it could go a little worse. It could go a little better. I'm not gonna get too worked up about it. Uh, I, I lost one fish today that I could never really understand what happened, but I'm live scoping and obviously when you see a fish, you know, that's good size on live scope and it comes up to eat your bait and it comes off and when you feel the hook set, you know, you get the hook set into them and it's just solid weight. You can hardly move the fish um, and you've been catching bass the whole time, you know. Have reason to believe that fish was probably better than four pounds. Um, so it kind of sucked to lose that fish, not gonna lie. But with that being said, we're round fish tomorrow. It's hopefully gonna calm down a little bit. Uh, so I'm looking forward to it. Try and go out and catch, you know, I mean, the Japanese angler just weighed in 31 pounds. So one day I'm doing the complete round thing, but 31 pounds is a pretty big bang. So we got to keep up to that. All right, it's start of day number two, Toledo Bend. Yesterday, it was a, I don't know, it was a good day until you come into the weigh-in and then you're like, catch almost 20 pounds, you're sitting in like 30th place. Um, it was still fun though, I mean, I still had a good time. I never caught any, never caught that seven pounder, eight pounder I was looking for. Uh, I think I had a few look at my bait that were possibly that big. Um, we did, I think, get the live scope footage yesterday, so that'll be pretty neat um, to match that up with the fishing footage um, and do that deal. But yeah, anyways, today, hopefully stay in contention. Uh, obviously, hopefully make the cut. That's the number one goal. And uh, get out of Toledo Bend with a cut and then possibly keep working my way up the leaderboard towards that top 10.
gunpowder. Wait, come on, you must be kidding me. and a quarter pound crappie. <laughs> Got him. Decent think, fish, buddy. I think that's 10 grand. <laughs> <laughs> 
I gotta get you there. I thought at first, because on the scope, I'm like, it's a nine, like it looked like it was a cart. So I was like, this is a nine pot. Okay, thankfully we caught that fish. That puts me at 15. Tougher day for me. Not for this guy though. He's uh, this guy right here. <laughs> Take a peek at that one. He's got more than I got. I know that. Look at those hogs. Oh. It's a healthy sack. <clears throat> Not today, no. <laughs> You're kicking our butts. How <laughs> Uh, nothing crazy. Fifteen. Oh, Who's, who wins in this dude? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how, how, how company? Clothing. Th drinking water. Clothing. 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 Shirts. A shirt. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Rain gear. <laughs> yeah, these pants. Oh, yeah. See? Yeah. Well, yeah. I think drinking water. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Hey, looks like you're going to work again tomorrow. Kyoya just told me I could have some of his lures if I come oh, see him yeah. at the boat. Do you think he will be there by the time this is done? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd like some of his lures too, whatever he's catching them on. Uh, no, he's catching them. It's hard to follow that up, but I, I had a tough day. You know, it, was, it started out hot. I caught him right away. Uh, the rest of the day, I literally caught no bass. So hopefully tomorrow it's, you know, one every hour. Maybe catch that eight pounder, 10 pounder I'm looking for out there. Uh, have everybody back home watching. Tomorrow we're going to go get them. Looking forward to watching it go down on Bass Live. Found 16 yams worth of large mouth. You know what that means? 10K, baby. Let's go. We can take the wife out to dinner.
15 pounds. 13 ounces. For a grand total of 34 pounds and 15 ounces. Good enough for 35th place. Only dropped five spots. That's pretty good. It's crazy that I had 19 yesterday and was in 30th, and I had not even 16 today. I only dropped five spots. Like the fishing was three pounds worse, basically. A whole fish. It's comeback time tomorrow. We're dropping the not even the dirty 30, we're dropping the 40, the dirty 40 bag tomorrow. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it might, it's already, 30's already been caught, so now it's, you just have to track for 40, I feel like. They're just, I mean, yeah, pretty much. We're going to check out the breakfast stand here this morning. I feel like I have to reward myself maybe for making the cut, but I don't know if it's gonna reward me later at like 10 o'clock. Uh, we'll see about this decision. Hoping they just have like an egg sammy, just a regular. Mm. Croissants. Oh, can I do a, can I do a sausage egg croissant with cheese as well? Thank you. Yep, this one. Yeah, it's a good thing I got cash. Cash only. Could've been bad. I had to kite some off the camera guy. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Thank you. Wow. Toledo Bend is legit. <laughs> I got a free sandwich? Oh my gosh, this day is just starting out. Unbelievable. Oh my gosh, thank you. Ah, oh, sure, thanks. All right, got the sandwich. Rated on a scale one to 10. It's up there, probably 8.5. Uh, I might even, I might have to just give it a 10 just because we got it for free. Anyways, we'll see how the day is gonna go. It's, I'm not sure what's gonna happen. I didn't catch a lot of fish yesterday. I didn't catch a lot of size, so probably gonna have to change up areas. Just move around. It's not supposed to be too windy today, which is gonna be nice. Um, we can move around quite a bit and try and hunker in an area where I think there's bigger fish and hopefully move up the leaderboard a little bit. And you never know, there's still a chance at making the top 10 out here. I mean, there's 12, 13, 14 pounders swimming out here. So we're gonna see what's gonna happen today. Uh, looking forward to it. A former Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year and Elite Series Champion from Wisconsin, Jake Securex. Let's hear it for Nitro Hairspray Pro, Jake Securex. 
And that is a fast pander right there. Needs to be better than 713 to take over Phoenix Bulls Big Bass of the day. 9-8 for Phoenix Bulls Big Bass of the tournament. Seven pounds, 15 ounces, so a brand new Phoenix Boats Big Bass, and uh, you take that over for the day, and uh, a great payday for you this week. Yeah, it's been fun down here. I gotta tell you guys about this fish catch, actually. So, I marked a stump in practice that had a few fish on it, checked, the, checked it the first day of the tournament, there was nothing there. I checked it five minutes before weigh-in. There was one fish on this stump. I jerked a jerk bait down to it, the fish completely went away from the stump. At this point, I thought it was a catfish. I thought it was a drum. Uh, I let the jerk bait sit there. The fish came shooting up for it, followed it all the way to the trolling motor, bit it at the trolling motor. I get it hung on a tree 10 feet down. The fish jumps, my line's on the tree still 10 feet down. The line breaks off and then I end up landing, or the line breaks off the limb. I end up landing the fish in the last five minutes and I come into weigh-in. <laughs> Better to be lucky than good any day, huh? That was, that was the number one best fish catch I've ever had in my entire life. <laughs> I can't wait to see the video of it. Let's hear it for ladies and gentlemen. Got a big one today. Oh, thanks. Got my good buddy Alex Redmond sitting next to me. We're at Toledo Bend at the Airbnb. We actually got a place on the lake. It's pretty nice. Mike Huff's also staying with us this week. Shout out to Mike Huff. Anyways, <clears throat> today was day three. Uh, I had a trying day. I lost a big fish at about 9.30 in my hands. Um, I'm not sure exactly what happened. Uh, I jumped twice. It was I guesstimated around like six pounds. And I get it to my hand. <clears throat> all the way to the boat i think it's exhausted and it does like one final little just like quick shake of its mouth and i was throwing a baby z2 at the time came out of its mouth and i was like halfway underneath the water like i had its tail in my hand and it shoots down to the bottom and, and i the fish is gone and i at that point i was just like really distraught and like didn't know what else was going to happen? Because that was the biggest fish I hooked the whole tournament. And I wasn't getting a lot of bites and I wasn't seeing a lot of fish. And it was kind of a fluke deal where I saw it and it came up in a bit. But anyways, go throughout more of the day, not really catching much. Um, <clears throat> get to the very end of the day, I got about 12 pounds, which is a small limit, 12 something. Um, so I had marked the stump in practice. Um, it had what I thought was three bass on it. I couldn't tell if they were drum. I couldn't tell if they were catfish. I really didn't know what they were. Uh, so I marked the stump. I check it the first day of the tournament. There's nothing there. There's no fish there. Um, not sure what was going on or what happened there. So today I'm in the same area this that I marked this stump at. Um, I'm doing at 315. I've for some reason, or I don't know why, I was running past it, and I'm like, well, maybe I should just check it. Like, the other day, there was nothing on it. I'm like, I don't even know if these are bass. I'm like, this something out of the corner of my mind. I'm like, oh, let me just check this stump quick. So, and mind you, this, I'm at, this is like, <clears throat> I'm about five miles from takeoff, and it's 3 o'clock. So I have approximately, you know, a handful of casts to make get this stump effectively before I have to leave. Um... It was good condition, so I could run back, you know, full out. Um, I get up to the stump. I see one singular fish sitting on the top of the stump, and it's huge. Like, it looks like a, I don't know, it looks like a 10-pound drum or something, just something outrageous. I throw a baby Z2 in at it. The fish swims the opposite direction, like, gets scared, just swims away. I'm like, this has got to be a junk fish or something, right? So I'm like, all right, let me get repositioned. The wind was kind of blown. Let me pull out a, I pulled out a deep diving KVD Elite jerkbait um, in one of the new colors, um, really good looking color. This fish is sitting at the top of the stump. I miss it on the first cast, uh, looking at it with live scope. The second cast, I get down to the fish. I get like just about to the fish's face. He sees the jerkbait. 
and just darts down to the bottom. Like, so at this point I'm thinking, this is a catfish, this is a drum, this is some, some kind of junk fish. Um, so I'm like, screw it. This fish always wants to come up on the stump. Cause mind you, the stump's in like 15 feet of water. And so I let the jerk bait just sit in place, like five feet down on the stump. Cause this fish just keeps wanting to come up, you know, to the top of it. So sure enough, this fish starts working its way back up the stump and my jerk bait's sitting there on the stump, you know, or nearby it. And it comes up and starts looking at it. I give it one jerk, the fish, you could just see it. You could just see the fish like turn and look at the bait. And I'm like, it has interest. Like, that's weird. I give it another jerk. The fish follows it again. And I'm like, oh, what is going on here? Like, is this a bass? I'm like, if this is a bass, it's a 10 pounder. <clears throat> I give it another jerk. He follows it again. I give it one more jerk. And now at this point, I'm getting close to the trolling motor. So on about my fourth jerk, this fish comes unglued on my jerk bait it, and completely whiffs. So like when he came up and tried to inhale this jerk bait, I like pulled it and basically pulled it out of his mouth. So at this point I'm like at the trolling motor, like my baits within, I don't know, 10 feet of the trolling motor. Maybe I give it one more jerk. He misses it again. I give it one more jerk. And this is like my last, ditch effort before you know the baits at the prop pretty much and he smokes it at the trolling motor like this far from the prop and at this point i hook the fish I, I still don't know if it's a bass i really don't and it starts just going crazy i mean this fish owned me for a long time like i instantly hook it and it's just peel and drag underneath the boat i mean i hooked it right at the troller so it's just going crazy uh, I'm like trying to get my marshal out of the way. We were going through crazy stuff. I mean, it was just, it was a disaster. And <clears throat> next thing that happens, this fish finds a tree. And sure enough, this fish is snagged up in a tree. And at this point, I still don't know if it's a bass or not. I mean, I could have foul hooked a carp. I, I really don't know. Um, it's in a tree. <clears throat> I can feel it. I'm like, please just come out. Please just come out so I can see what this fish is. At, at about that moment where I was like, please just come out. Something weird took place where my line was essentially underneath a branch of a limb or a, whatever, a limb of an actual stalk of a tree. And this fish is coming up to the surface to jump. And I'm like, it's 100% a bass. And at the same time, this fish comes up to jump. And this is like right next to me. It comes up to jump at the very same moment it jumps. So my line's down here, my bait's up here. At the very same moment it jumps, my line pops free of the branch. So I have to reel up like 10 feet of slack. And at that point I thought either A, the fish broke my line or B, it just came off. Like I had to reel up slack. I'm like, oh, I just broke this fish off. Like just saw it jump, it was a giant. So I reel in my 10 yards of line or 10 feet of line, the fish is still on. I'm like, you have got to be kidding me. And then at that point, the fight was pretty much almost over. I mean, it still dogged me for a while. I got to the side of the boat. Uh, I mean, it crushed, it crushed that jerk bait. It had it inhaled and I got it side of the boat, ended up being big bass for the day, um, just under eight pounds. It was the craziest fish catch of my entire life. All right, so it's the next morning after day three, championship Sunday. Unfortunately, we're not on the water. It's all right though, we had a good event. Uh, I believe I finished in 25th place, so I'm very happy about that. Uh, we're getting ready to head to Fork now. Looking at the weather for that, I don't know, it's gonna be really windy practice, like 20, 30 mile an hour winds every day. And then come tournament time, we got a little cold front coming in. So don't know what that's going to do to the fish, but I do know we're in Texas and there's a lot of big bass to be caught and guys are still going to catch them. So regardless of what the weather does, I'm still going to have to catch them. Looking forward to Lake Fork and uh, it was nice to get the season started off on a good note. Um, you know, nice to take, you know, a top, a top 25 essentially was 
was a really good start. If you would have told me I would have taken 25th place here, my first time here, uh, you know, fishing a big tournament like this, I would have taken it every day of the week.